My name is Elia Aronoff Spencer. I'm the team leader of the Distributed Health Labs at uh, UC San Diego here in the United States, California. So in 2006, I showed up to a small hospital in South Africa on the border of Mozambique. And I showed up and instead of giving me a stethoscope, they gave me a cell phone. And it had the phone numbers of all the people on there like me. And in the middle of the night when you're the doctor in the hospital and you really don't know anything, you don't know what you're doing, you could call John Gynecologist and say, listen, a woman has come in and she's sick and I have no idea what to do. And they would just give you what they had. It was the best information they could give you. And you, you start to see healthcare as an information finding problem and then an action problem. They have about $48 a year to spend per patient on healthcare. And for instance, the WHO recommends in a country like that that you test people for HIV at least once a year. The end-to-end -end cost of an HIV test, a cheap one, is about $24. So you would spend half of your money just testing the patients. So it's not realistic at all. And so it is that, those two circumstances, my experience there and basically the, the need space there, which is make stuff that works that we really can afford, that uh, our team is built around uh, and our lab the Distribute Health Labs, um, we're trying to make a product or a technology that really enables uh, people, end users, patients, uh, where they are to take care of themselves, to know more about their health, to have actionable information that makes their lives better. The biggest first hurdle was having anybody in our circle believe that this is possible. And I think the big one is that we may maybe don't have the same um, financial trajectory as some of the other teams. And it changes your ability to deliver, um, we know that, uh, but it also changes your incentives and therefore the product you build. There's the, the hurdle of building this for the prize versus building it for um, what goes on after, before, and through the prize, which is our, our own lab. The core technologies we have are open source and public. Um, that's not great for a competition. Um, and we haven't released or really even fully settled on what the tri-quarter Qualcomm entrant will look like, but we know what we call our global tri-quarter, which is our stack. We know what that looks like, um, and we're gonna have to reconcile those two. Um, but I think in the end, there's, there's pretty much zero losers here. I think everybody who showed up today kind of already won. I mean, this is a, you got to the Olympics, it's not a who won. 